Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Teach Stone vlog. All right, like I was saying, I thought I was gonna get a chance to record and fish a lot more this week, and unfortunately, the opposite is true. Our church, like most churches, and should be all churches, decided to shut down, and we decided to take our services online, and so as someone with uh, knowledge of creating content, uh, myself, along with a couple other people in the church, have been fully in charge of recording, editing, uh, making sure the videos and the audios all line up, uploading, creating a whole new YouTube channel and stuff like that. It's been a lot of fun uh, to get our church on YouTube and it's been really cool to see the response from that. So I guess it's not really a bad thing, but I have been insanely busy uh, and I haven't been able to fish as much. But uh, me and Amber's dad have been fishing out here with some worms and bobbers and we've caught a couple small catfish. I actually probably have a little bit of footage from one I'll show you right now. Right? Yes. Yeah. See you. Oh, that's okay. Is that where you caught your other last fish one? Nah. Uh, Same color. Oh, my bobber. I'm not recording. Yes, I am. I'm not a fan of catfish. I'm not trying to grab it. <laughs> Can I try to grab it? Yeah. Look at Riley. Come here, Riley. It's a kitty cat. Watch well, I'm trying to stop the shoes and jump back. Pull the whiskers back. You can get catfish, too. Are you going to throw it back in? Yeah. I don't like touching catfish. I don't really care to catch catfish, but it's you know better than nothing at this point. Uh, this channel, you know, we're gonna specifically try to catch as much bass as possible, along with other species. Um, but um, hopefully, towards the end of this video, we're gonna do that because today, this evening, and tomorrow and Friday, I, I've got a few days lined up in a row that I'm going to be able to fish. But first, I want to show you guys something really cool. So I got my first uh, care package in the mail. This is actually sent to me by our buddy Cash. He's always in the comments, such a good friend of mine for such a long time. And he said, hey man, I want to send you a few things and see what you think. So we're going to unbox this, see what's inside. I have no idea. Um, and then we're going to actually use some of this stuff to fish with later this week. I'd also like to say if you have like a bait that you would love for a beginner to try out, uh, just hit me up in the DMs and I'll give you the address where you can send me stuff if you want. Or you know, if you want anything signed, you know, just uh, DM me, I'll give you my address, you send me a pre-addressed envelope and uh, I'll sign it and get it back to you, you know, no problem. I also got a sweet new tripod. I broke my Amazon Basics tripod in the back of the Jeep one day uh, and this one is really sweet because it's got this little... Uh, trigger grip to make adjustments on the fly. I actually really like this thing and thought, you know, some of you guys care about the gear that I use to record and edit and so yeah, I guess I stepped up my tripod game. I, that'll probably be exciting to someone out there. Alright y'all, let's open this box and see what my boy sent me. Blurred out his information just so y'all can't see that. Also, this knife was a gift as well from my boy Nathan. Dude, this box is so full, bro. Come on, you sent me too much stuff, bro. Thank you so much. All right, let's see what we got. Yum, dingers. It actually tells you how to, how to, what hook to use and stuff. That's so cool because he knows I'm a beginner. Stuff like this is gonna help me out a lot. Looks like you can do a weightless Texas rig, which is what I've been doing. I've never done a Carolina rig before, uh, or a drop shot. I've been trying to drop shot, and I just honestly am lost. I have no idea what I'm doing. I feel like I'm doing it wrong. I just feel lost with it, but these are really cool, and they're brown, which should be pretty good in the pond back behind the house. Fish OG or Fish Og? These look cool. Oh, it's actually on a little jig head right there. That's so cool. It comes with a little jig head. Uh, smothered in swamp sauce. Now, that probably smells delicious and something that I would uh, want to eat myself. 
check this out. Uh, a, a percentage of their sales goes to their Cast It Forward program that introduces injured veterans and children to fishing. Uh, that's pretty dope. So can't wait to try these either. Uh, looks like we got a hook holster. This is so sick because my Guggen bait or Guggen Squad uh, spinning combo doesn't actually have a place to store the hook. And so I've just been hooking it into the eye, which I know is a big no-no, or hooking it into uh, the grip, which is starting to tear up, which I hate. So this is actually really cool. I can't wait to use this. Next is a Booyah XCS. It's like a little fat minnow uh, crankbait. And this actually looks like the uh, bait fish kind of in the pond behind the house too. So this should be really dope. Looks like it dives one to four feet, which is uh, probably, uh, mm, I think the pond behind the house might be up to like six to eight feet. So this should be really good. A Booyah blade a spinner bait uh, with, I, I believe this is called a Colorado blade, right? Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, one thing I remember about fishing with Cash a few times is that he loves the spinner bait. So I'm excited to have this. It's a little bit different look than the two spinner baits that I have. I actually think this is right in the middle. It's not as big as the Guggen baits, uh, but it's not as small as the one that I actually picked up a small one off of Walmart and caught a fish on it. But so this is a cotton cordell. It says, let's see, super spot. Funny story. I got one of these for Christmas in almost the same pattern and uh, lost it. It got snagged on the bottom when I was fishing out at that boat ramp that Jay Stone told us about. Uh, so it's cool to have another one of these. And it rattles, so. We got a power bait meaty chunk. It looks like you put it on the back of a jig. I have a couple jigs. I was just telling someone recently I have no confidence in a jig, so I'll get back to it and try these things. It's a lot different of a look than the uh, Guggen baits. So I'm actually really excited to try this and try to get back onto the jig game. I just, I mean, you guys, any any jig tips? Like, what what should I do? I like just pull it across the bottom. Do I swim it? I, I don't know. And I know there's different jigs for different things. I'm I'm trying to figure this stuff out. Oh, they're in the watermelon color. Let's see. We got missile baits, shockwave three and a half, green pumpkin watermelon. Look at that sauce in there, dude. It's just like all in the package. This looks cool. These look awesome. I've never used any missile baits, but this is super cool. All right, it looks like a uh, fishing care package, pursuit series. These are some little grubs. I think we could probably put these on the same little jig head that you put these guys on. They look very similar, uh, just in a little bit different of a color, but these look cool too. And then lastly, we got some Zoom Super Hogs. I've actually, I don't have any of these, but I have some uh, Zoom stuff in my bag as well. Uh, these look like they have a, a cool little tail on them, so maybe we can jig these as well, or a Texas rig. I'm um, not 100% sure. Dude, y'all, check out all this stuff that Cash just sent me, dude. I'm so excited. He knows I'm still learning and still getting into it. I still need to beef up my collection so that I have something to throw in all situations. And it just, I, I gotta be honest, it really means a lot to me uh, that you guys uh, love me and support me as much as you have. So Cash, dude, thank you so much for sending me this stuff. I can't wait to use it. Can't wait to catch a fish on it and give you all the props, my man. And hopefully, I'll get to see you soon. So unfortunately, I can't go hit the pond right now and use all that cool stuff. I, like most youth groups now, have moved online in light of the coronavirus. And next week, we'll do worship and a message. Uh, tonight, I'm just going to give a little Devo uh, and hang out with students via Zoom. I know a lot of youth groups are doing that now. Uh, but that call starts in about 30 minutes, and so i got to do that. And then, uh, hopefully have time to fish. If not, I'll definitely be hitting it tomorrow. Happy Friday, y'all. I'm sitting in my office, and most church offices are closed on Fridays, but I have our weekly worship service rendering here. Had to make some final edits today, and I'm going back over my stream from last night. Uh, to make sure everything's good on my stream as well. I still stream at twitch.tv slash brexlive. I haven't changed that URL yet uh, just because I'm waiting for uh, a different one to become available before I do that. I'm actually, while this finishes rendering, I'm about to head to lunch with Sleepy Bear and we're gonna eat my office. Hopefully gonna get some fishing done so we can try out some of those new lures.
Right here at the pond. I got a demo bug crack and crawl, just Texas rigged on. Got my foot hanging out. She's, she likes to chase the lure, so like wherever I throw it, she like runs to the bank right next to it. My father-in-law's on the opposite side, about 80 feet from the gator, no big deal. And we're trying to kill some time. It's been a day. Riley, get back here right now. Come here. Go back home. Go back home. Stop. Go. Hello. Hey, you need to put Riley on the fence. Oh, okay. The gator's apparently in the water. I see it. All right. All right, love you. Love you. Oh. Hey. Hey. It's okay. You have fun. Now you got to go in. <laughs> She's nasty. Did you see that? He was sitting right here. I didn't even see him. He was he was like laying right here. I didn't even see him. Whew. We, huh? Yeah, the little one. All right. Well, we found both gators. Oh, my worm's gone. Oh, I must have just missed him. Mm. I must say, I must have just missed him. I know this vlog has been all over the place with some fishing and me just hanging out and doing random stuff. Uh, the kayak should be here in about two and a half to three weeks. So once that happens, we'll have a lot of really cool footage. Instead of fishing tonight, we're taking the dogs on a walk, or the dogs are taking us on a walk. I'm trying to find Amber's family around here somewhere. Anyway, don't forget if you don't follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, it's all at Teach Stone. And if you're interested in the stuff that I use to make these videos or use on a daily basis, links are in the description below. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.